we came out to the beehives, it's uh, 34 degrees, wind chill's about 30. These bees are active, not super active, but they are active enough that they're coming out for cleansing flights. You can see the yellow drops in the snow. That's where they've been holding that, and they've come out and they've let it go. You can also see by these bees, they're crawling around in the snow. Um, some of those bees will lift and fly and return back to their hive. Most of these bees, their body temp uh, drops them right straight down in and they can't regain what's going on. So what happens is they perish in the snow. They land, they fall, they sink down in. These are bees that didn't make it back, so stayed on the snow too long and they sank. Um, what's happening is that they fly out of this box where it's super warm. Sun's got the boxes heated up. They're really warm. Um, when this happens, you got light snow on the ground. You got a bright light above them. They come out into this and it's just like we get, you know, you, you're snow blind. You can't see anything. Um, so when they come back to the box, if they can land on the deck, they're, they're clear to crawl on back in and they're going to be fine. These that are hitting the snow out here, uh, they run the risk of losing their lives, unfortunately. What we're going to see in the next few days, probably the next week or so, uh, are the bees dragging out dead larvae, dead bees, um, bees that are you know almost matured from under the cap, especially if they brooded up when that pollen was coming in two weeks ago. There might not have been enough bees inside the hive to cover all that the queen laid. If that's the case, those bees on the outside of that cluster that were in the cell, they're going to, they're going to die. And these bees are gonna to have to remove all that brood. So you'll be able to tell which ones had extra brood that they couldn't cover. These bees are very active, like I said, but they're sitting in the direct sunlight, so their hives are holding a good temperature. Don't be alarmed by this. You're not going to lose enough bees that it's going to cause these hives to collapse. Um, this is something that you can't control. It's going to happen. Um, you know, it's it's sad. It's It's unfortunate, but it's the way that it is in nature. So, you know, uh, don't don't let it rent space that all my hives are going to crash because of what's happening. That's not the case. Uh, two, three, four days from now, you won't see any snow. These bees will be actively flying. Um, you know, that's. I just wanted to to touch base with everybody and let them know this is this is common. This is what's going to happen. Uh, we expect uh, everything to be okay. Bees are going to come through this great. We appreciate you watching. Until we see you again. Roll that beautiful bee footage.